YouTube channel. This is Ryan Ponce. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use the indirect function in Excel. Let's take a look at the description. Indirect and it says it returns the reference specified by a text string. Now, if I add the uh, bracket, it would tell us or give us the guide. So it's going to ask for the reference text and then the style. Let's try the most basic way of using it. I'll put B2 in this cell and make a formula here as indirect. And this is my reference text. And if I won't add the A1 style, it's going to be a default into A1 style. So I'm going to close bracket and enter. It would say ID because it is indirectly getting the value of cell B2, which is ID. If I say this is C2, then it becomes calls as for the result. So again, the indirect formula will only require reference text and the style. Let's go ahead and test. I'm going to say indirect to this cell as the uh, reference text comma. And it's going to ask for the style if it's going to be R1, C1 style, or A1 style. In this spreadsheet, we're using A1 style. So we'll select the A1 style and close bracket, enter. But it's giving us an error. But what is the R1, C1 style? Let me show you real quick. Go to File, Options, Formulas. And you'll see here the option to change our worksheet in R1C1 style. Let's tick the box, try it out. We no longer have the letters on top. It's now numbers. And if we make a formula, let's just say this into, um, what is this, 8, 3 or 3, 8. this is the formula. It's supposed to be H3, but since we're using the R1C1 style, the formula got changed. Now let's put it back to the original format. Okay, there. So it's back to H3. Now, why did we have an error here? H3 for the reference text and we also have the uh, style. But let's try using the same formula in this row. So I'm just gonna copy this and paste it here. And it gave us a result of indirect tutorial. Why is that? Um, one more trick here is that I can remove the true and it will still give us the same result. That's because the default style is A1. So we don't really need that if we're using A1. Now again, why did we get indirect tutorial result if we're referencing to H4? Well, H4 um, value is hello. But then the result is indirect because hello has been used as a different address. Now we can check that out in formulas, name manager. And here you'll see that hello refers to A1. Summary worksheet A1 is indirect tutorial. So the value in A1 is indirect tutorial. Now, if I click on this cell, you'll notice that 
it has the word hello here which is the name of this range or cell it has been renamed to hello if i select a different cell like let's say b2 it's only going to say b2 c2 is c2 d3 is d3 all right but in this case a1 has been renamed to hello so if hello was used in indirect it's gonna give us the result of indirect tutorial which is in a1 now what happens if i add a quotation here anything inside the quotation is going to be considered as a text and if h4 is now going to be a text if i enter this the result is going to be hello because it refers now directly to h4 but if we're going to remove the quotation it's going to indirectly refer to a1 because hello has been used to address a different cell now we're going to use the indirect in combination with sum in this sample i have multiple sheets here from january to december and each month has a different number and i want to put them all in the summary All right, so for example, if I want to calculate all the calls for the entire January, I would just say sum of this. I'm going to add an absolute cell referencing. Close bracket. And the total is 3. 1,804 if I go to January tab highlight this and it would say that the total is 3,804 if I were to do that in February I'll do the same thing sum but I'll go to February and select this cells or this cell range 3,681 and we got 3,681 now I don't want to type the formula all over until December now with the help of indirect I'm gonna be able to come up with a formula that is draggable until December so January and February sum formula has only one difference which is the name of the worksheet. This portion is the same. So what we can do with the indirect is replace this portion and here's how it looks like. indirect so sum open bracket indirect open bracket instead of January I'll replace it with referencing to B3 after that I'll add this as a text and to make it considered as a text it has to be inside quotation marks I'll press enter and now you can drag it down until December now let's check on the value of December total value should be 3606 for the calls And it's the same 3606 total 
now I'm just gonna do it for sales and sales is in column D now I'm just gonna copy the same formula in sales and from C we'll change it to D enter and drag the formula all right as you can see I already have the formula for getting the sales percentage and the total sales amount so if you have more than 20 tabs or more than 20 worksheets and you have to make a formula for each of the tab then it's really gonna take so much of your time as you progress with the use of Excel you may discover some other way of using indirect so that's the basic way of using indirect function thanks for watching I hope you have enjoyed this video please subscribe to my youtube channel for more Excel and macro tutorials